<clears throat> Yo, my friends, this is your boy, JJ. So, life hacks. Um, we know what they are. We all need them. We don't always do them. Life is difficult. Why make it more complicated? Set your goals high and expect to reach them. Um, okay, maybe not 100% of the time, but much more. Um, you're able to much more than you think, but... Keeping your mind positive in today's world is difficult. Uh, you have to actually go out of your way to avoid a lot of the negative bullshit. So I don't do social media, except for maybe a few YouTube uh, YouTube videos that I think are uh, on particular topics of interest to me that are going to be um, hopefully constructive advice for others. And at the same time, uh, for me to reflect on uh, from time to time that are uh, going to be good reminders for me. So, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do. Obviously, you can watch Tony Robbins, listen to Deepak Chopra, watch Eckhart Tolle, <clears throat> read the books, um, Abraham Hicks, Laws of Manifestation, uh, the law, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Oh, and Leo from uh, Actualize.org, fantastic stuff, especially if you're a little in the Buddhism persuasion, which I personally am. So, now... Um, but anyways, um, a big, uh, so there's a, there's a million things you can do. Uh, I'm big on affirmations. So if you come to my house, it looks crazy. I have like post-it notes. Eat healthy, be healthy, think healthy. Okay, that's what that one is. I see it every day on my refrigerator. Let's see what else we got here. We got a couple of things in the bathroom. Uh, I want to make sure I get good positive messages every day, morning, noon, and night. You are fit and strong. There you go. But I got some health issue or I'm concerned. I could do with that. Keep positive. Sounds simple. Got to remind yourself. Got to remind yourself all day, every day. Let's see. Where do I have more affirmations? Mm -hmm. Normally have them in the bedroom. Looks like I need to do some updating. How about front door? Get up and get up. Go to work in the morning. Manifest money. Again, it's the laws of attraction thing, right? Uh, manifest love. What's, did you see that? Yeah. So, ain't nothing more important than that. Um, and in fact, if you have both, you got, you got the perfect life. So I, uh, I'm a big believer in uh, small things that accomplish, help you accomplish great things. Pardon the shininess of my face. I'm about to go to bed and I just put vitamin E oil on my skin because I live in Texas and uh, sun damage. I don't do sunscreen. I'm not all picky about that. But sun damage is like, it's a real thing over here. So anyways, um, what else can I tell you here just in the next couple of minutes that I hope is going to be a benefit for you. Oh, yeah. So here's what I did. Um, I don't do social media for the most part. I cut all that out. Um, eight years ago when I decided to live a more positive and constructive life. And by the way, it became a total game changer for me. I started attracting like everything and anything I, my heart desired. But at the same time, what I wanted and needed didn't have to be that many things. I became much happier with less, but I understood what are the fundamentals, uh, the, what's the foundation that I need in life, and and focus on uh, achieving that and getting happiness from that. Things such as intrinsic goals versus status goals and so on and so forth. These are getting now a little bit heavy where I can't really explain it just in a few minutes. I'll either have to record future videos or I would just direct you to someone like, um, well, some of the so-called gurus and pundits that I've already previously mentioned who are going to say these in much more intelligent and articulate ways than me. And because uh, I'm not making any of this up, I learned all of this from others, as we all do. We learn everything in life from others. So if you don't interact and have conversations and listen actively to other people, Mm, you're not gonna you're gonna learn a lot. You're not gonna advance too much. Uh, sad for you. But um, so I do the affirmations. I change them 
routinely as needed <clears throat> when there's something like I feel like there's a habit. When I mean a habit, I mean there's a pattern of thinking negative that I want to change. I have the affirmation. I have them in my car too. Um, I got a great idea from a friend a few days ago who even goes in the shower and takes one of these dry erase markers and in the shower writes stuff on the glass of like things that just pop into his head, positive messages, affirmations, good quotes, sayings. Um, they could even be uh, different than that. They could be jokes. They could be little stories, anecdotes. All good. Um, I do a lot of journaling and a lot of writing these days. I I won't show you because it's a little bit messy on the floor, but I have stacks of things. I do gratitude journals every night. I do meditation. I'm big on meditation. I've been doing it for decades now. I do two hours of meditation every day. But uh, part of my meditation routine, and I'm not saying that you you need to meditate, but if you do, you just know you have to be very patient. If you succeed initially in a t 10 seconds of meditation, um, that's huge. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself credit. Reward yourself. Um, <clears throat> it's... <clears throat> Learning to control the mind and the thoughts is a lifelong process and a slow, arduous journey, but well worth it in terms of outcome. So, um, but anyways, I'm getting preachy here. I wanted to give you some practical, practical uh, things to make your life a little bit better so uh, I can contribute in some small way, shape, or form to that. I do the affirmations. Oh, the meditation. Um, one thing I learned from dogs. Why do we get up in the morning as human beings and go, oh, the alarm clock went off. Bam. <clears throat> Jump out of bed. Oh, I'm still half asleep. Hop in the shower. Oh, okay, get dressed. Hop in the car. I'm still half asleep. This is not natural according to the laws of nature, and we're stupid to do it. So I don't do it. One thing I learned from my dogs is I watch my dogs every morning. First thing they do is they, they wake up and they stand up and then they yawn uh, and then they stretch uh, and then they start going about their daily business. That's congruent with what nature intends for living beings. So guess what? I do that now as a human being, and it makes a big difference. And I also start every day with meditation. When I wake up, I remain in bed for 30, 15 to 30 minutes and meditate before I even get out of bed. Um, that's what I do. And it puts me... And oh, and by the way, once I finish that, then I spend about five minutes petting my dog, making eye contact with him, watching him... Face hey, smile and his body tingle and all of this. By the way, when you do that, it releases serotonin in your brain and also in your dog's brain. So, as soon as I'm com I've completed that ritual, I am so now in a different state of mind to go tackle the day in a positive, optimistic, constructive way. Even if it means I have to get up, shower, put my suit on, and get in traffic, my whole perspective is different on it. I'm not bitching and complaining about that and going to work and life sucks and traffic is bad and the people, the road or someone's gonna cut me off, I could care less. I have got into my Zen state and I start the day like that. Uh, now, some people ask me, Jay, how do you meditate for two hours every day? Which I do, easily. First of all, uh, I'm not married, I don't have children, so that probably helps a little bit in terms of not having those responsibilities and commitments. So, uh, and time constraints. So that being said, I have trained myself to be to meditate uh, while I'm doing other things. The gym is a meditation for me. My, the gym is actually my church. So time I spend in the gym is actually a meditative experience for me and I'm in a meditative state. Driving is a meditation for me. People frequently ask, what, how do you drive while you're meditated? Aren't you gonna fall asleep and get into an accident? No. Listen to some of the, the advanced Buddhist monks who I believe 
are speaking the truth when they say that they're literally in a meditative state 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365. <clears throat> but, you know, they've trained their whole life to be able to be in that situation. The reason being is it causes a state, a perpetual state of peace, tranquility, and blissfulness. Who wouldn't want to live as many seconds of your life in just a peaceful, blissful state of mind, of gratefulness and appreciation for what you have and what the universe gave you and what nature has to offer you and teach you and heal you and so on and so forth. Sounds like I'm a new age liberal hippie. Okay, I probably am. But, well, I'm not a poor uh, hippie. I put it that way. So, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so that's what I, I practice, what I call practical spirituality. I'll explain that in a separate video because that um, is a phrase that I coined to take all the spiritual tenets from so many different sources, such as Buddhism. You know, we know it's in our society not practical to go to Tibet and then move there and sit on a mountain for 10 years and meditate. We have other things and roles and responsibilities that we have to deal with on a daily basis um, and deal with the society uh, at large. However, it doesn't mean that how your society conducts itself means that you have to follow that and be sheep and conduct themselves. Most of the people are in a rat race. Most of the people I have found, regardless of how successful they may appear financially or in terms of their status achievements, are actually quite miserable. Um, Okay, that may be an exaggeration, but definitely not happy and at peace with themselves and their existence. If you can't, let me put it this way, and this might be a test for some of you. If you can't look in the mirror for 30 seconds and make eye contact, your, contact with yourself and not break on eye contact and keep repeating to yourself, for 30 seconds, I love you, 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 and not break eye contact or look down, you have work to do on yourself, okay? So that's litmus test. Um, there are many, but that's one that I start with because I find that a lot of people are not able to do that, but you can get to a point of being able to do that and that's part of a spiritual growth because you start with accepting yourself, loving yourself. Look, you can't go out in the world and expect to attract things like good, positive people, relationships, kindness, love, if you don't have those same feelings for your own fucking self. So start. let's start there. Interestingly enough, <clears throat> when you do develop those things for yourself, you love yourself, you're content with yourself, you don't have expectations for life, but you're optimistic and you believe you can manifest positive things. Oh, it's amazing. <clears throat> don't take my word for it. Ask other people. Go online and do their research. Other things just start appearing in your life. A great job comes in. Salary comes in. A new girlfriend comes in and she loves you. And um, great friends come in and they genuinely care about you and want to help you. <clears throat> and like... It's just a, it's, it's so, it's, it's, a, it's not only a more constructive way to live, it just makes life easier. Less conflict and less emotional turmoil, less taking things personally, less being hurt by whatever is going on in the world or someone has said and done, less feeling entitled to things and then therefore frustration uh, that you didn't get it and then subsequent from frustration to anger. Why why make your life more difficult than it has to be? So these are my these are my suggestions. These are uh what has come to my mind uh to share at this point in the day right before I'm about to go to bed. It's like midnight Saturday night and I wanted to share this because I'm going to go now to sleep and have some great... I have tinnitus. I have a ringing in the ear. It's loud as fuck. But I've just trained myself to not 
I'm going to sleep great, peacefully. I'll just, I'm just going to already know it's going to happen and just manifest that that's going to be great. The dreams are going to be good and so on and so forth. And you can do it too. Remember, the brain is neuroplastic. Your thinking, your patterns, your rituals, your belief system, your negative uh, thoughts, your record playing with the loop over and over. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm this. I'm that. I didn't achieve this. I should have been a better this. I have a guilt. I feel guilty over this. I, w I regret this. I wish I could undo this. You can change that. And you should strive to. Because why go through another 10, 20 years of torturing yourself? And at the same time, as I mentioned earlier, it's only going to prevent you from getting positive things uh, into your life. When you change that, yes, it's a long-term and a difficult and painful process to go through. Life becomes really, 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 really good, enjoyable. Well, at least better than it is now, right? So um, if that's not enough of uh, an inspiration to take a step, then I don't know what is. I'm Jay. Thank you for listening. Good luck.